Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Rohan Sai, along with Nathan Seigel and Sam Lewis. The NBA Finals will have a different feel this year. Missing is an NBA icon. From 2007 to 2020, one of the NBA superstars, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, or Stephen Curry, were participants in the championship round, but not this year. Also missing are some of the league's most prominent franchises. The Lakers, Warriors, Celtics, Bulls, and Heat. It is a year, it is a strange year for a league that loves a brand name, but it is also perfect time for new stars and new franchises to emerge as the game's best. One area of focus for NBA teams this offseason is how they manage players' health. Dealing with the coronavirus was the league's top priority this season. But players were also sidelined at a much higher rate with non-COVID illnesses. This year's All-Stars missed 19% of the games, the highest percentage in a season in the NBA history, according to Elias Sports Bureau. Denver Nuggets coach Michael Malone put it in best saying, quote, this, is the best. this year has been my hardest year in the 20 years of the NBA. It's a mental toll and a physical toll and an emotional toll. Shortly after winning his seventh Super Bowl ring in February, Tom Brady underwent surgery on his left knee, but the 43-year-old will still be ready to go when he starts his 22nd season on September 9th, when the Buccaneers face the Cowboys. Tampa will try to become the first team to repeat as Super Bowl champions since the 2003 to 2004 New England Patriots. Brady says teams will be approaching the Bucs differently this season and that the Bucs are the team everyone will be watching. In a year when no candidates were elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame, Cooperstown will still hold an enrichment ceremony honoring the class of 2020. The outdoor introduction ceremony will be held Wednesday, September 8th with limited tickets available to fans. The class headliner is former Yankee great Derek Jeter. Also being inducted are Larry Walker, Ted Simmons, and former executive director of the MLB Association, Marvin Miller. The most famous soccer player in the world, Barcelona forward Lionel Messi, has expressed a desire to play in the United States in his final years. With his contract expiring this summer, the 33-year-old Messi has reported has been reportedly found seen near Major League Soccer's Inter Miami FC, where former superstar David Beckham co-owner is co-owner. Messi has been associated with Barcelona for 20 years, but he recently purchased a $7 million condo in Miami. It could be interesting fall in South Florida. That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co-anchors, Nathan Seigel and Sam Lewis, I'm Rohan Desai. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.